So there's a new debuff in Raid with the new update, okay? So if you go to one of the debuffs on one of your champions and you go to the more info tab, you can see all of the buffs on the left, all of the debuffs on the right. If you scroll all the way down to the right, you're going to see that there's a new debuff that wasn't there before called Berserk. But what is Seal? What is this? There are two. What is this? There are two versions of this debuff, Seal and Master Seal. The Seal debuff blocks effects from gear sets and masteries, except stat boost. Wait, I think this was already... I think we've seen this before. Yeah, it makes gear sets... Um, the effects of gears. Anyway, um, Berserk. This right here. Berserk is a new debuff that increases the damage inflicted and, de and the damage received by 50%. So you're going to do more damage but you're going to receive more damage as well. It's kind of uh, a double-edged sword, a sword. And I immediately thought of the Minotaur, right? Because if you go up against the Minotaur, I think he's got something very similar to this. Um, Where is it? Start the battle with the Rage buff for three turns. While active, the Rage buff increases the damage he receives, or he deals by 400%. Once the buff expires, the Minotaur will become dazed, will receive one dazed debuff. And while that's active, increases the damage he receives by 200%. So this is kind of like a Berserk thing going on, right? Raging Bull, he does 400% more damage, but once, once that's gone, he receives an extra 200% damage and then re recycling that. And um, like, I think that when Odin finally comes to raid when this happens i think it's going to be a, a debuff i don't know if anybody's talking about this i haven't seen anything on youtube i haven't seen anything in reddit and you know i've looked a little bit but i haven't seen anybody talk about the debuff you know it, it's pretty pretty straightforward right you you um receive more damage you do more damage that's that's kind of berserker in in a nutshell and um, by the way, this all came to me, came to my, um, what do you call it, to the front of my mind, or what do you say? How do you say it? Uh, this was brought to my attention um, from Tickle Raid. Tickle Raid, Tickle does RSL, does, um, you know, raid content as well. And he was hitting me up in my DMs. He slid up in there and was like, hey, do you know about this? I said, no, I didn't. But thanks for letting me know. So shout out to Tickle, fellow clanny, good guy. And um, yeah, so I think the new dungeon is probably going to incorporate something along the lines of a Berserker debuff. I think Odin might be the one to do it, right? Because Odin is coming to raid. He's going to be the boss for the new dungeon that's about to pop up, right? So there's going to be 30 stages. We're, you know, I've talked about this already ad nauseum. Uh, to, to, the, to Infinity and Beyond, I've talked about this. But what I see happening is Odin... When we fight him, I think what's going to happen is Odin might end up doing a Berserker type debuff on us. So we might hit harder. I think he might have something to deal with that, but we're also going to receive more damage. Now, I think this also might have to tie in with Thor, right? Because Thor, if I recall, has some sort of Berserker mode as well right where he does an increased amount of damage but he also becomes a little bit bloodlusted blood lusted mindless and someone someone verify this with me because i'm not an expert in mythology or or whatever um but yeah i think that's going to be an interesting debuff to to see so uh, i mean what do you guys think do you think this is going to be a debuff that we're going to be able to place on others like if we unlock odin do you think we're going to be able to place a Berserker debuff on our enemies? If that's the case, like, where do you think that this is going to be a really good place to use it? Like, what are some instances that you think might be usable um, going using uh, Berserker against uh, our opponents in, like, PvP? I doubt PvE it's going to work against bosses because, essentially, they would be receiving an extra, what, 200% was it? Damage, and I don't think that the um, player is going to want that to happen. So 
Oh, 50%, sorry. In a way, isn't it kind of like a decreased defense, almost? Because decreased defense drops it by 60%. But is decreased defense a different... Actually, I think it's a different mechanic. Because decreased defense drops the total amount of defense that you have by 60%. But this is just flat out increasing the damage that you receive by 50%. This is like a, a big double-edged sword here. So like strengthen, for an example, is a buff that increases your damage reduction by 25% but this drops it by 50. I don't know. I'd be interested to see how this pans out, how this is used, because if we're going up against Odin, do you think he's going to have a mechanic in place to deal with Berserker? Because he places it on us. We do more damage to him, but do you think he's got a way around it? Or do you think he's just going to be stronky as fuck? How hard do you think this dungeon is going to be? Because a lot of people in the comments were talking about how this new dungeon is cool. The pinpoint set seems like a pretty meta set and it's going to be really good. But on the other hand, we don't know how difficult it's going gonna, it's gonna to be. Is it going to be on the Amius level of difficulty or like the Dark Fae level of difficulty? Because there's going to be 30 rounds, right? Where is it? There's going to be 30 rounds. Uh, oops. 30 rounds, it says normal difficulty, so I don't think there's going to be a, a hard or normal uh, issue here. It's just the boss battle. He's bringing in other champions, but do you think this is going to be something that's available or accessible to players who are level 6 and higher? Because it says the dungeon is available for players who are level 6 and higher, but how easy is it going to be? I don't know. I see one, two, three four uh, five champions here so it might be odin and then he brings a full team of, of five if that's something like the dark fae i feel like there could be some gimmicky mechanics involved and i don't know but i'd be interested to see what what you guys think about the um the new dungeon the new mechanics do you think it's going to be worth it do you think it's going to be a huge just um energy sink i hope they at least, at the very least, give us some sort of uh, preset type thing because oftentimes, for example, like in Amius's case, you don't really get a preset, if I remember correctly. I don't do Amius anymore, but it's hard to do very specific things without, you know what I mean? Without having a preset, because then you have to manual the entire run and then it becomes a, a, a really long boss fight and I don't want that to be the case i hope this is not too difficult of a fight i hope we can all do it and we can all farm and it's not gated behind very specific mechanics that are only accessible to players that have like a six star blessing or something right i hope there's nothing that says something along the lines of hey if you have a six star blessing for this champion then you do extra damage or uh you receive less damage but yeah um let me know where you think. I'd be interested to see where you think this is going to apply.